What do I usually call this amount, Adam? Do you remember what I called this amount? A uh, fist. Fist size. So you'll always hear me say, okay, for this project, you guys, you want to begin with a double fist, a single fist, or I might have you get more clay and say, you need four pieces, okay, or four fists. Now, in this block of clay, what I usually do is make sure that my elbow is not on my table, right? It's free, and then I'll just take each corner, and I'll start to actually push that clay into my palm, because I want to end up with a sphere. All right, so I'll just rotate it all the way around, and I want to end up with a sphere. And so I'm just kind of throwing this around. As you can see, if you get tired, you can do it the other way, right? Now my throws are short too. The throw, when, when I throw that clay into my palm, it's real short. What I don't want to do is just, you know, play catch with it. I'm not playing catch. I'm actually shaping that clay so that it's spherical, all right? I want to show you what a good bowl looks like. A good bowl definitely has volume. Our functional volume means that you could actually put food in here. So let's say that you intend this to be a cereal bowl. I know some of you guys are cereal killers. Ha ha ha. And you eat a lot of cereal, okay? And so Cameron's like, yes, I love cereal. So you want to make sure that your bowl is not small at all. I also want to talk about the profile view. As you can see, this is the part of the bowl that we call foot. Everyone say foot. Okay. This is the body here. This is the body, right? Where it changes shape. It goes from the foot, here's the body, and then it goes all the way to the top. We call this the rim or the lip. Say rim and say lip. All right, so that's the anatomy of the bowl. I'm gonna go over my next example. All right, so that piece, it has, it's been fired once. You can hear it, it's been fired once and it doesn't have glaze. This time I do have a glaze, and forgive me if this is your piece here that I'm talking about, but what we don't want is a bowl that looks like a dog or cat bowl, all right? Nothing wrong with making a cat bowl, but if our intention is to create a functional piece that is used for cereal, or let's say macaroni and cheese, right? Whatever we may eat from our, our uh, pieces that we make, we don't want to end up with something that's super flat on the bottom, flat on the side and then just flat on top because it ends up looking like a dog bowl, all right? Now, I can see that this piece, it does work. It doesn't have any cracks on the bottom, it's still functional, but it misses the whole point of the shape, all right? What the difference between these two, right? There's a lot of differences, but the obvious one is that it's height. If your piece ends up being too short, like we see here with this blue and somewhat rustic colored one, we end up with less volume, all right? We want functional volume, and that's an emphasis. I want your piece to be functional so that whatever you intend to use it for, whatever food you use it for, ends up being used for that. You don't want, you know, you end up with this, it'll end up being the dog bowl, or you know what? The most disrespect ends up being a bowl that's used for coins. So what you wanna do is have your ball and you're gonna insert our thumb. This is actually what we'll get to go through on Wednesday. And we're gonna open this up slowly. And all I'm doing is I'm rotating the piece. And eventually, right, if I go all the way around, it's gonna to start to open this up. What I don't wanna do is open the hole up too quickly. If I have any cracks, your duty on Wednesday is to close up any cracks that you have, all right? And so, the pinch motion, we talked about the pinches, the lobster, you're gonna repeat that over and over again. If that clay wasn't there, it'll look just like this. My pinch, my pinch technique, it's I'm not pinching too hard. You pinch too hard, you'll end up with this, all right? You don't wanna open too quickly. Now, I've gone around probably two times now, and this is as wide as I got the inside. Now, as you can see, between the two, I have a long ways to go, right? Even if I have a bad form, right? Even with a good form, I have a long ways to go. So how long will this project take us? How long will we be pinching? I would say for you guys, it's gonna take about four 60 minute sessions. To bag it up, you need your tile, get your bag, just open it up. 
There's no need to spray it down today because it's the first day and you just bag it up and you're done.